I'll be making an O'Hara three material upright style arrangement in a low bowl container. Um, I will be using liatris for the subject secondary group, uh, roses for the object group, and then peonies as the middle group. I will also be using uh, a three ring sheet bowl and a two ring sheet bowl. Uh, so to place the three ring sheet bowl, I'm going to place it like this, sort of a backward seven, and I, I'm going to place it on the center line of the container, on the left side. The point of the arrangement is always it's facing you. So I've placed it in the center line, and now I'm going to place the two ring sheet bow sort of at an angle, a slight angle towards the front edge on the left side of the container. So now that I have the um, sheet bows in place, let me get the subject stem. And the length is a standard length. Don't measure uh, the tip of the material. Length plus depth, a little more. And so I'm gonna say probably maybe a little shorter. I'm gonna place it in the hole towards the back of the three ring sheet ball on the left side. And so I'm going to want to slant it slightly forward. Okay, so in order to get it to stay, I have my brace. I put it in the position. I hold it there, insert the brace, and then pull it back. Okay. The secondary is about two thirds the length of the subject. And I'm actually gonna place it in this large hole here. So we have the subject here and the secondary here. And it's gonna slant forward about halfway down and then over slightly. So probably there. And I want to cut it so that when it hits the wall of the sheet bow, it's flush. Yeah. So I have my subject and my secondary. There's a big gap in between them. So that's where we place the middle filler to help fill in this gap. And there's no specific place where to place these fillers. I'm going to try to insert it in this middle hole. And the length of the of the middle filler is about half the length of the subject. I'm going to place it there, and I'm actually going to place a stay to make sure it doesn't move. Okay. Now for the tall filler, the tall filler is actually the same length as the secondary. It just doesn't slant as much, so it looks tall or longer. So that's going to be about there. And I'm going to try to place it in the hole in the back, the small hole in the back of the three ring sheet. Bowl. And again, I am going to hold it in the position I want and then insert. I have one more helper, the low filler, and that will come out in this area. And I actually inserted that in the same hole that the secondary stem is in. Okay, so the secondary stem is sort of 
on this upper left hand corner of this hole. The low filler is sort of on the upper right hand corner of that hole. So I'm going to now work on the object first. And I'll be using these roses. And here we go. And I'll be inserting the object groups in this hole here, or the object. The low filler will be in the large opening, and the tall filler will be in the small hole in the back. So I know the angle, because it's a short stem, I'll need a brace. I'm going to place a brace there. Let me now add the low filler. And here's the rule. When you're using or creating a three material moribana in the upright style, the object tall filler is actually lower than the object. So let me say that again. When you're using, when you're creating a three material moribana upright style, the object groups tall filler is lower than the object. So typically it would be here, I'm going to make it lower. Okay. And in this case, I'm also going to add a brace. So I'm going to push this. So if you were to bring this together, you would have a two material upright style. Um, so what we're going to do though, is we're going to add a third material in between. And for that, I'm going to be using uh, peonies. Now, one thing to keep in mind when using peonies is you really need a lot of the leaves. So keep the leaves because of how it blooms and how large the flower is. You want to surround each flower, if possible, with some green uh, so that it, one, stands out, but also it makes sure it's not close to the next flower that's opening. Otherwise, they would bump up against each other. But I'm going to start with uh, a tall filler here. And there's no set rules in terms of where each stem goes. You do want to use the part of the canzons when you bring, or sheepos, when you bring them together, there's a space here, sort of in the middle. And so you can use any of the holes on those. So let me uh, place this right here. Okay. Uh, the other thing to uh, remember with this middle group is you don't want, you want to make sure you, you don't go tall, medium, and short. So you either want short in the back, tall in the middle, and short in the front, or tall in the back, uh, short in the middle, and a little longer in front. What you don't want is sort of a stepping from tall, medium, and short. So let me clear that. Okay. 
And this one, I'm going to now move this a little closer. And I'm going to insert this one in the large opening. I'm actually going to cut it a little shorter. And then I am going to place this opening bud in the back. The other thing to remember is that you don't want these all in a line. So this, you know, starting at one point, going in, and then going back out is what you want. If they're all lined up, it creates this wall and breaks up your arrangement. So let me, I think I need to slant this slightly more forward. So a three material upright style. Uh, using liatris, peonies, and roses.